Why, hello there. I did not spot you. Anyway, I'm joking. Uh, hi, guys. So, I'm back. And I've been quite busy. But so, finally back. Uh, been a bit hectic. I mean, Corona. You know, actually, when Corona happened, I was like, yeah, let me take a break. But the break turned to five months. Jesus Christ. I don't know. So, yeah. Hey there. <laughs> so, I'm going to start us off with a joke. This one is really bad, honestly. So, if you unsubscribe because of this joke, I think it is worth it. <laughs> um, yeah. What do you call a bear with no teeth? I mean, take a second to think about it. A gummy bear. <laughs> I don't really care, no. So basically, uh, today I do have my book and I just wanted to start off with tips. I think first and foremost, what I would, uh, what I would actually um, argue on or start this on would definitely be um, drinking water. <laughs> I know what it sounds like, but even right now, um, my lips aren't that... Uh, you know, that supper as I want them so bad. But it's all good because, you know, we move regardless. And, uh, yeah, what I'd actually emphasize on is water because what happens is that when, you, when you're indoors, um, yes, you may not feel the thirst, but your body still needs water intake. So what happens is that your skin becomes a bit um, flaky because, first of all, you're not even in the sun as much as you're used to. And you've just probably lagged on everything else but what i will emphasize on is drinking water so that's my number one number two i'd actually go with uh making sure that you still have your routine um i know what happens sometimes is that you get stuck working especially for those of us who are working from home you find yourself in a situation where you're basically just seated for hours uh, maybe you're dashing to the toilet, but you have Zoom meetings or you have reports to finish. And yeah, just you just kind of forget how to take care of yourself. And that's a very scary place to be. So that's why I'm putting number two is making sure you have a regimen. Like just put an alarm clock. Set at least one, one hour each day. Um, if you do the morning and night routine, if you do one single routine, that's fine. So basically, what I'm just saying is you can put an alarm, put it in your diary or attach it to something that you do ritually. If you're used to waking up to go running, <laughs> can never be me. But if you're used to doing that, you can um, make sure that by the time you, you can allocate more time such that when you work backwards, you have enough time to actually take a shower and do your full regimen in terms of uh, how you wash your face. Some people double cleanse, some people do not which is okay because there's some products that actually allow you to be clean on one cleanse you know and uh, we are trying to get money to be able to afford those products but but i digress so what i was trying to say is just attach it to basically an activity that you do every day there are people who read books before they sleep we are working towards that um there are people who also uh try to what call home call someone who, you know those people who have uh, people to call and use the story bonus on well this video is turning out to just be the roast of this induta like jesus christ okay so moving on um yeah that's my second point just make sure you attach it to something that you do on the routine like just cleaning your face um clocked in with something else and you won't forget by the way it's 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 weird how it's basically you're rewiring your brain to it's the power of association basically like how we used to use um funny stories to cram 
<laughs> countries in Africa. What has A44 done to us, honestly? So yeah, that's now number two. So for number three, <laughs> anyway, for number three, I would emphasize to make sure you have an accountability buddy. By an accountability buddy, it can also be virtual because you know some of us are out on the streets just stalking people for a living. So yeah, you can um, ensure that you are you just someone who at least there are people who do challenges. Um, like I'm actually. I just finished a challenge I want to actually run on social for you guys to also participate in. Uh, but it's basically and generally just making sure that there's something um, other than yourself, something reminding you that you need to constantly take care of yourself, take care of your skin. Um, also just to make sure that you're being kept in check because, yeah, you, you, you do need let no one lie to you like yeah you can you can be all independent and stuff but you actually do need um an accountant accountability buddy so yeah that's my number three and for my fourth and last bit i'd say what has really 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 worked for me is just uh, making sure i have access to information <laughs> Because, you know, what happens is the more you expose yourself to certain things or certain knowledge or niche uh, blogs, you actually want to experiment things. So it's at the top of your mind. Uh, for example, you know how the algorithm works for Instagram. You know, it shows you things you keep looking at. So, for example, if you're on Twitter, if you're Instagram, you're on Facebook, take some time to actually check out uh, blogs or pages or actually those stuff. Um, those users who are sharing about those topics, about acne and skincare and all that. And it will always be at the top of your mind. You'll also read up and be more knowledgeable. And actually the best part about it is that if, let's say, you had snoozed on your alarm to do your routine check, your routine um, regimen, whatever you want to call it, hmm, uh, you can be able to, like you're scrolling through your phone and you're like, oh damn, I actually uh, kind of forgot that. So yeah, it's, it's a weird way, or it's another weird way of rewiring how you think about this stuff. So yeah, guys, uh, that's just basically the kind of tips I can share with you on that. But generally speaking, I think Corona has just taught me to uh, just don't listen to news too much. Uh, that's what I would say because, yo, they told us this thing would end by um, June and... I mean, September is like round the corner, right? <laughs> like how I'm really praying. Like my birthday doesn't mean like I'm grounded here, yeah, like forever and ever and ever and ever. So, um, yeah, generally speaking, I, I think it's, it's just opened like my mind to so many things and how to keep busy and just take care of yourself because God knows um most people's routines is like 80 percent st stuck in traffic um and then the other 20 or 15 percent is basically worrying about work and there's nothing left for you to share with like your friends family and yourself so yeah that has been about dealing with corona and uh yeah i just i really i'm really excited about this new chapter because i i just want to I've always wanted to create content so like making a youtube channel where people can come and refer to especially as a middle mid 20s okay yeah i'm in denial but i'm still calling myself mid 20s because i can um a mid 20s kenyan lady who just wants to see the world and just be amazing at their career that's the kind of space, that's really my why for this. And I think it just came to me while I was dealing with Corona and all that. And I know right now you're wondering what the hell is happening to my hair. But um, yesterday I had some friends over for just whatever. But after swimming, I don't want to like undo my hair yet because I know it's like a mess. So, <sighs> 
how yeah so i think i think that's pretty much it um i'll be able to share with you details about how i was able to set up my workstation which is pretty exciting because this month i'll just uh, take you through uh some other additional skincare items that i want to share with you and i know you're actually really going to enjoy this so yeah uh yeah <laughs> bye